You've got to take your opportunities in this world. That's how I got where I am today. I'm always looking for opportunities that are going to make me a richer man. I told Jimmy that one day. But I think Jimmy took that a little bit too literally. Because one thing you don't do is you don't take your liberties with me. Know what I mean? I do a lot of talking. But Gordon, well, Gordon talks with his hands. But Gordon didn't get his hands on Jimmy. Somebody else did. Lucky for Jimmy. Mrs. Maguire was all alone that night of the break-in. She said she hadn't heard anything. I think it's time I went and paid Mrs. Maguire another visit. Maybe she can shed some more light on her subject. I should have called the police that night when I saw the flashlight in the garage. And then it wouldn't have happened. But instead, I'd slipped the kitchen knife into my dressing gown pocket and walked down there. It'll just be kids, I thought. I can handle them. But it was him. What are you doing here? I've come back for what belongs to me. I didn't belong to him. I don't belong to anybody. I was frightened that the police and the press would look for a connection. What connection could this respectable man of the law's wife have with a criminal? And then that it would have discovered our past brief relationship shortly before his arrest. Had he come back to visit his ex-girlfriend while her husband was away? My husband's choice of wife would have been brought into question. He must have been deluded, they'll say. She's years younger than him. The rumours would have circulated the courts, and his career would have been ruined. And our trust lost, no matter what I told him. Everything I'd strive for in my younger years would be for nothing. My husband was away that night. I could bury the body in the garden, in the rose garden I'd already started. And that's what I did. I worked relentlessly through the night, and by daylight there was no trace that Jimmy Maxwell had ever been there. No one need ever know.
I've been in the police force for nigh on 35 years now. You learn what to look out for in all that time. The twitching, the lack of eye contact, the constriction of the throat, sometimes even the overconfidence. It just becomes like second nature to you eventually. You just know. She knows now about those diamonds, but she knows something about him. His final words were What have you done with them? He must have thought He must have thought I knew What had he really come back for? Not for me But for something he'd hidden in the wheel The wheel that that police sergeant's just been around asking questions about the spare wheel that wasn't there. 